Hello there, and welcome back to another exciting video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom dynamic PDF stamp in Adobe Acrobat, where users can interact with the stamp's text fields and input custom text. So, without wasting a time, let's get started. First, we need to design our stamp. For this example, I'm using Microsoft Word, but feel free to use any editing software you're comfortable with. I'm going to add a rectangle shape for the stamp, fill it with white, and give it a slightly thick border to make it stand out. Next, I'll add some labels like invoice number, approved by, and date. You can easily resize and adjust these as needed to fit your design. Once you're satisfied with the design, save the document and then export it as a PDF. Now that the design is complete, it's time to add the dynamic features using Adobe Acrobat. Let's close Microsoft Word and move on. The first step is to crop the stamp to the right size. To do this, go to the toolbar on the right hand side, click on Edit PDF and then choose Crop Pages. Select the stamp area, press Enter and click OK. Next, we'll add text fields. Go to the toolbar again and select Prepare Form. Here, you can add text fields to your stamp and rename them if needed. To make this stamp dynamic, go to Organize Pages, then More, and choose Page Templates. A window will pop up where you'll need to name your template, starting with a hash symbol. Once done, click Add. Now, go back to your stamp page, right-click on the text fields and go to Properties. Click on the Calculate tab, then Edit. Here, you'll need to paste the script that will convert your stamp into a dynamic one, allowing users to input data into the stamp when they apply it. Make sure to correctly insert the template name between the quotation marks in the script, as JavaScript is case-sensitive. If your stamp has multiple text fields like mine, simply copy this script and paste it into each field, making the necessary adjustments to the data. The rest of the script will remain the same. Once you've finished, save the PDF. I'm replacing my previous version with this new one, no problem. Now that our dynamic stamp is ready, it's time to install it in Adobe Acrobat. All you need to do is copy the stamp file, then right-click on the Adobe Acrobat icon and choose Open File Location. From there, navigate to the Plugins folder, then Annotations and finally Stamps. Paste your stamp file into this folder. If you're using a Mac, the location of the stamp folder might be different, so you'll need to find it on your system. That's it. Now, open any PDF document to test your stamp. Go to the Stamp tool, and you'll see your newly added stamp. Select it, click on your document, and a pop-up window will appear, asking you to enter the text for each field. As you can see, the stamp is applied with dynamic text. If you want to apply the stamp with blank fields, just leave them empty before stamping. And there you have it, you've successfully created a dynamic Adobe Acrobat stamp quickly and easily. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.